Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calumso. Pray for us. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we gather in this celebration of the Holy Eucharist on this Sunday of Easter, asking our Lord Jesus Christ for the grace and effects of His resurrection to manifest in us especially the grace of repentance, of forgiveness, and conversion to holiness. And so to prepare ourselves to receive the graces of this Eucharist, let us first acknowledge our sinfulness and ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Papuri sa Diyos sa kaitaasan.
Mamuri sa Diyos sa kaitaasan at sa lupay kapayapaan sa mga taong kinalulog na niya. Pinukuli ka namin, pinarangal ka namin, sila sa mga namin, ipinagubuli ka namin. Pinasasalamatan ka namin Dahil sa dakila mong aking kapulihan Panginoong Diyos, Hari ng Langit Diyos sa mga mapapangyarihan sa lakas Panginoong Yesu Kristo, buktong na anak, Panginoong Diyos, kordero ng Diyos, anak na mama. Ikaw na nag-aalis ng mga kasalanan ng sanlibutan, maawa ka sa amin. Ikaw na nag-aalis ng mga kasalanan ng sandibukan, tanggapin mo ang aming kapilingan. Ikaw na naludok-dok sa kananang ama, maawa ka sa siya. Sapagkat ikaw lamang ang banal, ikaw lamang ang Panginoon, ikaw lamang o Kesu Kristo. Ang kataas-taasan ka sa banal, Espiritu Santo sa kadakilan ng Diyos Ama. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. May your people exalt forever, O God, in renewed youthfulness of spirit, so that rejoicing now in the restored glory of our adoption, we may look forward in confident hope to the rejoicing of the day of resurrection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter said to the people, The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, the God of our fathers has glorified his servant Jesus whom you handed over and denied in Pilate's presence when he had decided to release him. You denied the Holy and Righteous One and asked that a murderer be released to you. The author of life you put to death, but God raised him from the dead. Of this we are witnesses. Not I know, brothers, that you acted out of ignorance, just as your leaders did. But God has thus brought to fulfillment what he had announced beforehand, through the mouth of all the prophets, that his Christ would suffer. Repent, therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be wiped away. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, let your face shine on us. Lord, 
let your face shine on us. When I call, answer me, O my just God. You will relieve me when I am in distress. Have pity on me and hear my prayer. Lord, let your face shine on us. Know that the Lord does wonders for his faithful one. The Lord will hear me when I call upon him. Lord, let your face shine on us. O Lord, let the light of your countenance shine upon us. You put gladness into my heart. Lord, let your face shine on us. As soon as I lie down, I fall peacefully asleep. For you alone, O Lord, bring security to my dwelling. Lord, let your face shine on us. A reading from the first letter of St. John. My children, I am writing this to you so that you may not commit sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the Righteous One. He is expiation for our sins, and not for our sins only, but for those of the whole world. The way we may be sure that we know Him is to keep His commandments. Those who say, I know Him, but do not keep His commandments are liars, and the truth is not in them. But whoever keeps His word, the love of God is truly perfected in Him. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Lord Jesus, open the scriptures to us. Make our hearts burn while you speak to us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The two disciples recounted what had taken place on the way and how Jesus was made known to them in the breaking of bread. While they were still speaking about this, he stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. But they were startled and terrified and thought that they were seeing a ghost. Then he said to them, Why are you troubled? And why do questions arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Touch me and see, because a ghost does not have flesh and bones, as you can see I have. And as he said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. While they were still incredulous for joy and were amazed, he asked them, Have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of baked fish. He took it and ate it in front of them. He said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and in the prophets and Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds 
to understand the Scriptures. And he said to them, Thus it is written that the covenants and forgiveness of sins to pinpoint for you, allow Jesus to pinpoint for you, Lord Jesus, please point out to me what is wrong in my life now so that I could be saved by your power from these mistakes, from these sins. Remember that in our first reading, when Peter was preaching to the people of Israel, repentance and forgiveness of sins, Peter was able to point out to them their mistake. Let us look at the first reading. According to our first reading, Peter said to the, to the people of Israel, he said, this is your mistake. You handed over the Holy and Righteous One to be killed and crucified, but a murderer you chose to be released to you. Yun pala ang mali nila. Pinili nila ang isang mamamatay tao kaysa sa Panginoon nating ng buhay. It is as if telling them, you chose murder over life. You chose a murderer. You support a murderer instead of supporting God who is the Lord of life. That is your mistake, he said. But Peter said, Yes, you were ignorant of that, but now I am preaching to you, Jesus, so that you can be enlightened. You can repent from your sin and now choose life over death. Choose God over the murderer. Choose the Lord of life instead of the murderer. Parang sinasabi ni San Pedro sa kanila na ito, ito ang mga maling ginawa ninyo. Mas pinili ninyo ang isang mamamatay tao kaysa sa Panginoon natin ng buhay. Pero ngayon, binibigyan kayo ng pag-asa ng Panginoong Diyos. Maliwanagan muli kayo. Ituro sa inyo ang mga mali, itakwil ang mga mali na yan nang sa gayon ay ubangat ang inyong buhay. Repent, he said, and therefore, be converted. My dear brothers and sisters, we ask our Lord Jesus today to point out to us what is wrong in my life. And when Jesus tells you, this is your sin, this is the wrong that you have been doing in your life. Allow Jesus to enlighten you so that you can be moved to repentance and therefore conversion. Sana po ang panalangin natin sa araw na ito ay, Panginoong Jesus, ituro niyo po sa akin ano po ba yung mga maling ginagawa ko sa buhay ko. Dahil ang mga mali na ito ay siyang humihila pababa sa akin. At kapag itinuro mo na sa akin yung mali, nawa ay maliwanagan na ang isip ko. Baguhin ko na ito nang sa gayon ay magbalik loob ako sa iyo at mabago na ang aking buhay. Panginoong Jesus, ituro niyo rin po sa amin ano ba ang mali sa bayan namin ngayon? Ano ba ang maling ginagawa namin bilang Pilipino? Ano ba ang mga mali sa mundo na ginagawa ngayon, lalo na sa panahon ng pandemya na ito? Kasi itong mga maling ginagawa, dapat maliwanagan kami. At kapag nakita namin yung maling ginagawa namin, baguhin namin, magsisi kami, 
nang sa gayon ay mula sa pagkalugbok ng ating bayan, maiangat mo muli kami. In our second reading today from the letter of St. John, the writer of this book tells us that Jesus is our advocate with the Father. Yes, He is our expiation for our sins. He died for our sins. But He said, so that we may be sure that we know Him, we must keep His commandments so that the love of God is truly perfected in us. Pagkatapos nating pagsisihan ang ating mga kasalanan, humingi ng tawad sa pangalan ni Jesus, ang sabi ng ating ikalawang pagbasa, para maging mas lalong mabuti ang ating buhay, huwag kakalimutang sundin, patuloy na sundin ang mga utos, ang mga hinihikayat na gawin sa atin ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Kung gusto po nating mabago ang ating buhay, sundin natin ang kabutihan na itinuturo sa atin ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. My dear brothers and sisters, we can only repent if we are also converted. And we can change the mistakes by doing and fulfilling the good works Jesus tells us to do. Mapapalitan natin ang kamalian kapag tayo naman ay gumawa ng kabutihan na itinuturo sa atin ni Jesus. For the past days, we have been uh, hearing about the news of uh, community pantries. No? Uh, yung mga community pantries na ginagawa sa iba't ibang mga pamayanan no nagsimula sa uh, in Maginhawa Street in Quezon City thank you for inspiring us to do this and now we have one here in Intramuros by the Intramuros administration in different communities community pantries are rising at sabi ng mga tao na parang ito ang sagot sa mga tao na walang ginagawa, sa mga tao na hindi marunong magbahagi, sa mga tao na indifferent, parang walang pakiramdam, parang hindi nararamdaman ang pagdurusa ng bayan, sa mga tao na walang ginagawa sa mundong ito, lalo na sa panahon ng pandemya, yan ang sagot. Ang sagot ng communities, bumuo ng mga lugar kung saan makakapagbahagi ka. Siguro kung titingnan natin, maliit na bagay, pero kapag pinagsama-sama natin ng mga maliliit na komunidad, makikita natin, maitatama natin sa maliit nating paraan yung mga maling nakikita natin. And there are many ways, many peoples who are trying to correct wrong things that are being done. For example, our uh, Vice President, Lenny Robredo, is already doing her own share. Nagtayo siya ng mga mobile clinics, gumawa siya ng online consultation, hindi naman niya trabaho yan bilang vice president. Pero bilang kontribusyon niya, maliit na paraan man lamang makatulong siya. Kaysa wala siyang ginagawa, mayroong maliit na maitutulong. At maraming ang nagsasabi na yung maliit na yan ay hindi naman talaga maliit, kundi napakalaki ng maitutulong sa buhay ng bawat isang tao. Community pantries have begun. Our vice president has done her her part in giving uh, 
medical checkups, mobile clinics. What can we do? This is the grace of the resurrection. Pointing out what is wrong, repenting about our mistakes, asking God to forgive us of all our wrongdoings. And when Jesus gives us the grace of forgiveness, we are also given the grace of conversion to correct what is wrong in our lives, in our society, and in our world by doing the good works commanded to us by Jesus. Yan po ang biyaya ng muling pagkabuhay. Hilingin po natin sa Panginoong Jesus sa misang ito, Panginoon, ituro niyo po sa amin ano po ang mga dapat naming baguhin, mga mali, mga kamalian na sinusundan namin, mga kamalian na nagagawa namin sa buhay sapagkat ito po ang humihila sa amin pababa. At alam namin na kapag ito ay itinuro mo sa amin sa iyong biyaya, patatawarin mo at kami ay muling makapagbabalik loob sa iyo. Amen. Let us now profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. As we hear His word in the scriptures, our hearts burn within us with a longing for God's presence. With this Easter hope, let us now express our needs in prayer. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer that those who teach in the church will remain faithful to the gospel of repentance and forgiveness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That leaders of the church, government, and industry will work together to provide food, employment, and justice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that those who are dying may know the peace of the risen Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may understand why Christ had to suffer and on the third day rise from the dead. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That Christ, our advocate with the Father, will bring the dead to eternal glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In silence, let us now pray for our personal intentions, for the intentions offered in this Mass, and let us also offer special prayers for those who are sick right now because of COVID-19, for their healing and strength, and for all our medical workers and frontliners, that Jesus may strengthen them, encourage them in their service to others. O 
Almighty God and Father, we ask you to grant these prayers through your risen Son, the glorious Prince of Life, living and reigning forever and ever. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer Himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before You. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the Lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in Your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Santo, 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 Panginoong Diyos na makapangyarihan, Napupuno ang langit at lupa ng dalwalhatian mo. O sana, o sana, sa kaitaasan. O sana, o sana, sa kaitaasan. Pinagpala ang naparirito sa mana ng Panginoon. O sana, o sana, sa kaitaasan. O sana, o sana, sa kaitaasan.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our Administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Sa pamamagitan ni Kristo, Kasama niya at sa Kanya Ang lahat ng parangal at papuri ay sa iyo Diyos amang makapangyarihan 
kasama ng Espiritu Santo, magpasa walang hanggan. Amen, amen, amen. Amen, alleluia. Ulitin ang Diyos, ulitin ang Diyos. Amen, alleluia. Amen, amen, amen. Amen, alleluia. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Ang mga kasalanan 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. You would like to thank all those who have joined us, all of you who have joined us in this celebration, even through online streaming of this celebration. And uh, special thanks to those who have sent their help, their donations for the Manila Cathedral, those who have been sending their Mass intentions in our daily Masses. Maraming salamat po sa inyo at kami po ay kaisa ninyo sa patuloy na pananalangin pagdarasal natin sa mga napakaraming intensyon at pangangailangan natin sa panahon na ito. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, who by the resurrection of His only begotten Son, was pleased to confer on you the gift of redemption and of adoption give you gladness by His blessings now and forever. Amen. May He, by whose redeeming work you have received the gift of everlasting freedom, make you heirs to an eternal inheritance now and forever. Amen. And may you who have already risen with Christ in baptism through faith, by living in a right manner on this earth, be united with Him in the homeland of heaven forever and ever. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah, <speaking in Spanish> 
pro nobis Deum. Amen.